Hi guys, so we are back with another video and today I would like to share with you the new bow tie storage that we have. Now for a while I've been looking for a clear set of drawers for me to store my supply of dog bows but I hadn't really found any. And then I watched a YouTuber known as Stassi the Shih Tzu and she had something on her grooming desk tour that caught my eye and it was the storage drawers from Muji and when I seen, seen them in a video I thought that is exactly what I'm looking for something that is clear, small, delicate and isn't too big after watching her video I had done a wee bit of research into the drawers and I decided to go ahead and buy a set now there was two drawers, three drawers and the five drawers and I decided to go with the five drawers just because I'm getting quite a few supplies of dog bows in plus I make them so I'm going to need a lot of storage. So these are the five drawer set of Muji drawers. Now the website I wasn't sure if I was able to get them delivered to the UK but thankfully I was able to and these drawers came in at £24.95 and I paid £2.95 shipping so it was a total of £27.90 for these drawers which is really good and they are really good quality. When they arrived I couldn't believe how quick it had been shipped. I think I bought it on like the, the Monday or the Tuesday night and then they came on the Friday. So it was quick delivery as well, which is really good. It's a nice clear acrylic box and the drawers. Jamie laughed at me for being so excited about these drawers because I just couldn't believe how smooth that these drawers actually slid out. You know, I thought they would have been a wee bit rougher, but they just glide in and out, which is really, really good. And people have said to me to put a layer of something on the bottom just to give it a wee bit of decoration, a wee bit of colour but I just want to keep it clear so these are the drawers now it's got wee kind of bumpy things on the bottom so it doesn't slide which is really good and the good thing about these is that you can stack another one on top so you could have like a 10 drawer which is really good also. Now when we move house I'm going to have a grooming desk and I'm going to have everything set up like what I see other people have at the moment with a one bedroom flat I don't have that luxury so this is the desk I'm using and it's Jamie's desk so I can't pile all my dog stuff on it. So when I get my own desk in our own house then I'm going to have everything set out for the dog grooming table and I'll have these drawers and I probably will have another set of drawers by then anyway with the amount of dog bows that I'm getting. So this is the drawers and I have my pile of bows sitting there waiting to get organised in. So I will be back in five and I will show you my collection in these drawers and how much space I actually have left. Okay, so I have filled up the drawers and I've only really filled three, not even fully, I would say some of them are not even half full, so I have loads more space and I still have two drawers down here that are completely empty. So I'll take you through the first drawer and the first drawer is, these are the really really nice ones from America where I got them from a place called Cynthia Dog Hose and they're from Esty. Now she makes absolutely fantastic bows and I've just had an email of dispatch for the order that I made a wee while ago so I'm hoping to get them in next week so this drawer will be a wee bit fuller. I've also made an order for doggy bow ties which I probably won't get until Christmas or after because I ordered them at the end of August and it takes about five to six months for them to come out which is a shame because I did order some Christmas bows hoping that they would be here by Christmas but I don't think they will be but here's hoping fingers crossed that they are. Okay so the first drawer we have is from Cynthia Dog Bows and this is the order that I made over a year ago 
for Pixie when she was a puppy and I only have one big bow which is the, the pumpkin. I do have another one on its way so that I've got two big ones for Halloween. I then have the autumn one, the two sunflower ones, the carnations, the peach polka dot and the mini mouse. So this is all I've got in my top drawer at the moment. It will be filled. I do have 23 bows coming from her so it will be a wee bit fuller. So that's my first drawer and that's the best bows that I really have and I don't have my dogs wear them a lot. I only maybe put them in if they're having a picture taken right now because they're not used to wearing a top knot so their bows get scraped along the floor when they rub their faces and they get ruined so I'm having the kind of not so good ones in their hair right now and keeping these ones just for pictures and then when their hair gets longer then we'll have that. This is my drawer from eBay and these ones I got obviously again when I got the Cynthia Doppel ones when Pixie was a puppy and these ones are all from eBay so they've got two pink ones in their hair just now but these ones are actually very very big and they're very broad so when they're in their hair they kind of stick out a wee bit but I think it would look better when they have longer hair. They're really really stiff bows. So that's those ones and then we've got the smaller ones at the back, the purples and this one's just from Pets at Home. Really it's just a wee kind of flower. And then we have the pinks and the whites. Now Pixie doesn't suit white because she's so dark here, she suits more the purples and the pinks whereas Roxy suits the white and the pinks because she's more paler. So those are the eBay ones. And then in this drawer we have our homemade bows as well as the bows that we received from Zucute when we received our box from her. So this drawer is just ones that we have made. These are ones that we've made and these are ones that we've made. The ones at the back are ones that we've made and the rest, these ones here and those ones are from Zucute. And I'm really gutted because we did have a pink one of these, but we had a wee accident with it and I'm, I'm not really that happy because it was like my favourite one. I had one of these in Pixie's hair and we were sitting watching a film and I just heard her munching on something and lo and behold, there was a hair clip in her mouth and would she let it go? No. So, sad to say that that one has had, had to be disposed of, which I'm really gutted because it was really nice and I'm now a hair clip down. So. Lesson learned, keep an eye on your dogs when they've got these clips in because they tend to fly all over the place when you shake their head. So as you can see, there's more space in here for more bows, there's more space in here for more bows and there is a lot more space in there for more bows. So these drawers are going to last a very, very long time and as you can see with the size of bows that I make, I can make bigger but these are the kind of sizes I've been making just now and um, there's going to be a lot more room so a lot more room for them so we pink and blue ones and then we've got our kind of teal coloured aqua one which suits Pixie really well and the kind of coral one suits Roxy so I'm going to be making more of them and the drawers are going to be filling up so that is our dog bow storage collection and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have the link of where I got these down below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are aiming for 100 subscribers by the middle of November. And leave us a comment if you would like to see anything else. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.